Okay, so we're dealing in this new part of Unit 2 where we talk about if something is linear or not linear. Uh, and there's different ways that we can determine uh, if a, a function or equation is linear or not linear. And the easiest way to do it uh, is depending on the situation we're given. So here on numbers 1 through 4, we're given a table. And remember, usually when we're given a table, we need to find the slope or the difference between the y's and the difference between the x's. So let's do this for number 1. If I find the difference between negative 1 and negative 4, I subtract 3. From 4 to 7, I subtract 3. All right, for the x's, from 1 to 2, I add 1. And from 2 to 3, I add 1. Notice how the change in the y's are the same and the change in the x's are the same. If they're a constant rate, or meaning they're the same all the way throughout the table, it is a linear equation. So they have to match in order for them to be linear. Now let's go to number 2 here. So from negative 1 to positive 1, it's plus 2. From 1 to 27, it's plus 26. Whoa, that looks weird. Let's take a look at x. For the x, to go from negative 1 to 1, I add 2. From 1 to 3, I add 2. So the x's are constant, but look at the y's. They are totally different. I go from 2 and then to 26. So if the rates are different or they're not constant, that means they're not linear. All right, so there's a good example of how we do uh, linear and not linear. You look for the differences, and they have to be the same. The differences have to be the same in order for these to be linear or not linear. All right, we're going to say 5, 6, 7, and 8 for another lesson. So let's go ahead and take a look at another set of problems here. The bottom parts, numbers 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, something else we learned about is when we look at a, just a regular equation, like 9, 10, 11, 12, we look to see... If we look at x, x is a big part. So at the variable x, we look to see if there is a exponent or a power. Now, if there is a power, that means it's not linear. So that means the graph will not be a line. So we're looking for if the x has an exponent that is there. So on number 9, it says y equals x squared plus 2. So notice how it has the 2 right there. That means it is not linear. On number 10, it's 2 thirds x. Now again, we don't care about the number in front. We only care about if there's an exponent in front of x. I mean, on top of x. And there's no exponent. So see, there's nothing here on top of x. So that means it is linear. This is a linear equation. So the same goes for numbers 11 and 12. Now, 13, 14, 15, 16, you basically just give it the I test, meaning you look at it, and if it's a line, it's linear. If it's curved or shaped pretty funny that's not a line, then it's not linear. So for number 13, don't be fooled. Even though it's a bunch of dots, if I were to connect all the dots, do I have a line? Yes, I do. So it is linear. On number 14, notice that it kind of like bends or curves a little bit. So this would be an example of a not linear equation. So that is basically what we're looking for, the three different ways that we can see if it's linear or not linear by looking at the table of values and seeing if the rates of change are constant. We look at the actual equation and look for exponents. And we're looking for the actual picture. If it's a line, it's linear. If it's curved or kind of bent a little bit, it is not linear. So that is basically the basics of linear versus not linear.